to local coronavirus coverage, four positive COVID-19 cases and other issues have led to the temporary closure of Gordon Central High School in Calhoun, Georgia. Our Meredith Aldis has the story and reaction from Gordon County residents and parents in the district. Meredith. During this temporary closure, Gordon Central High students will continue to receive instruction from their assigned classroom teachers virtually starting on Monday. Extracurricular activities will continue in person. If we don't get out, then we are hiding from it. Candace Steele has three children in the district. She was ready for school to start back up again. I need them to be exposed, not necessarily to the virus, but to social situations. Four positive COVID-19 cases among staff and one student have led to a precautionary quarantine for those at Gordon Central High School and a staffing shortage means the school will have to temporarily close its doors. After having anybody in contact with it, I think it's smart and it's the best choice for them to go ahead and close the school. Whitney Smith has two elementary school students. After concerns for her kids going back to school in person, she pulled them from the district altogether. She wishes she would have chosen the virtual option from the beginning. She's been told it's too late now. Well, I think it should go back to online. In a statement, Gordon County Schools superintendent says, quote, we do not consider this a failure of in-person instruction. This is our plan in action. We knew going into the school year that there would be obstacles such as these, and we implemented a protocol for students and staff. Shame on you first <laughs> for even uh, thinking that it was acceptable to bring all of these kids back together and endanger their families. Spencer Mann believes the closure should have never had to happen in the first place. He doesn't have kids in the school system, but says he feels for the teachers who went back to school last week. They're putting their lives at risk, their the lives of themselves, their family, just for essentially the parents to, some parents to use them as a babysitter. As a compromise to include social interaction, Steele suggests virtual learning at school for the classes with unavailable teachers. So they're getting the content online um, at, for that one class, but they're still in school. But man believes the damage has already been done. That's your job is to keep people safe, is to keep schools functioning. And as of right now, you have failed at your job. The schools are closed and this is just going to continue. It's not going to just magically go away overnight. Gordon Central High students are supposed to go back to in-person instruction on September 2nd. Cleaning throughout the school was done today. Meals will be available to the students tomorrow through the school cafeteria. We have more information in the WRCB app. Reporting in studio, Meredith Aldish, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.